the way I see it, the boss will be much easier for him because I got it's one enemy versus a a big old party of like six. Well, actually, a party of five, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. So far, I haven't really been any issues with my encounters. The only time was literally the first encounter. Wolf charges. First roll that ever, I ever do with an enemy in a real fight, nat 20. But you can't blame me for that. <laughs> yeah, great way to start. Nearly one shotting my a party member of a goddamn crit. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on my mobile at the moment. Okay, you're gonna need to pull... Hold on, let me, uh... Oh, no wonder. Okay, I'm lowering your volume. Yeah, you're super muffled. Nice to have you, though. Messing with the contrast on my TV. Yeah. Oh. All right. Back to fun times at the museum. Learning about natural history and fighting monsters. And not necessarily in that order. Fighting the uh abomination. I don't know, it seems like a normal New York time. And this might be the origin of Chuds. That's a deep cut. What do we got here? Dinosaurus.
I, I, I'm sorry, Yarko, but you are completely incomprehensible. Yeah, we literally <laughs> cannot hear You'd think the onboard mic for a phone would be pretty decent. Yeah. One would think. You think we scared him off? creates ATP and adenosine triphosphate within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? Um, Alright, could you give me a moment? I'm, I'm, I'm going to look that up. Alright. Because, yeah, I'm really not too sure either. Yeah, that's... Uh... Sounded right. It's massive. Okay, uh, let's cube up medicine too. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's also where we found out he had a Growlithe in Rally. Yeah. It's like, as has been pointed out by several people during the course of their many disguises and schemes, if they just straight up went into a legitimate business, they would make excellent, like, salespeople and, you know, whatnot. It's just, they are constantly being undermined by the fact that, one, they keep getting distracted by Pikachu, and there's also the fact that they are being bankrolled by organized crime. Yeah. Okay, let's see. He has... Oh, my junior was at Team Rocket's headquarters. It was his Chime Echo that's with his relative. Also, yes, he had a Chime Echo. Alright. He also acquiesced in training and DK modifying his also Team Rocket's headquarters. And he is currently traveling with, of course, Meow, a Rotom Phone, uh, more Pecco, and a Pelipper. Oh yeah, and he, he did release... Oh, he released the Marini! Oh. I mean, there's a reason they went into a life of crime. Taking mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source, into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Aging, slow cell reproduction rate, or cell destruction due to overload? What do you think the answer is? I believe it's aging. You are correct. Yay! Also, 59. Because, yeah, I know it's like the thing that, like, oxygen slowly burns and destroys your, your, your cells, as I understand. Well, it, I think it's also a bit of that and also the fact that it 
it's like entropy. Eventually, it just runs out. Yeah. Cells die, they can't replenish anymore, and well... That's basically what aging is. But, that's life. Mm -hmm. And really, when you get down to it, the fact that we can live to a hundred, theoretically nowadays, shows that we as a human race have evolved far beyond our ancestors. Where old age used to be 40. Okay, so we got a little simple tree of life thing going on. And that's classic. Mm -hmm. I am starting with basic apes reaching into homo sapiens. Got a thing knocked over. I'm. If I were to guess, that might be a Neanderthal, and that's supposed to be symbolic or something. Let's see. Probably. In 1987, Ken and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from Mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be Mitochondria Eve? You might already have the answer. Pretty sure it's an African female? You are correct. It was mentioned in the game. A lot of these questions actually were mentioned offhand. Me. Yeah. Which, actually, I kind of like that. I like the, were you paying attention? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you are treating this as more than just a string of battles. You're paying attention to the plot. And you are being rewarded for
mean, I suppose it makes sense because a, a bone is made of hard, dense material. Yeah. But, like, there are so many things that can go wrong with, like, a bone transplant. It's not as risky as, say, an organ transplant, but there is always that risk of a body rejecting any foreign object that's inside. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that is kind of a thing that is fascinating. Like, at the same time, it makes sense that it's like, okay, yeah, our, our body has developed the... the things needed to say, hey, this is something that doesn't belong in us, we need to get it out of here. But not enough to realize it's to do, having this foreign thing that's keeping us alive. Mm-hmm. I believe that's a model of a cell. Well, yeah. it's a pterodactyl. Oh God! After lamp floor time, Petrie was never the same. Seriously, I feel good. This is pretty. chapter. Maybe you Part. should just eat one of your... Okay, well actually, I'm gonna use your bonus point to uh, also increase your inventory. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's like it's 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 nice to take a look back at some of these games that have like I know Parasite Eve has kind of a cult following, but it's not exactly you know it's not like this is something that Square pulls out all the time to you know get fans going like uh, Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy. It's nice because even though it's like, okay, you're controlling one party member and you pull up the thing to shoot, it's like, it still requires you to kind of move about and pay attention to how enemies are moving. It's... Yeah. This is what happens with Chrono Trigger, 
People who are disappointed that that symbiogenesis thing turned out to just be some NFT project. Still shit for other reasons, but oh, God, yeah. But the fact that Square is making me say they're not as the Kanabi is not as bad would be something has gone completely wrong. It's like I think especially a part of what is so bad about it is it's like. Uh oh. It's you. Ooh, did so hey, did someone just lock the door? Yeah, probably. Like, part of what makes me wonder the most is that, like, okay, at least with, like, pachinko machines, there's an audience for that, and there's people who are regularly getting into the gambling and all that. It, like, almost everyone is, like, hard pass on NFTs. Yeah, except people, except NFT bros who, let's be honest, they know it's a scam, and they're just trying to get people in on their... On their uh, Ponzi's. Yeah. It's basically just a modern day Ponzi scheme. And not a very good one. But at least with the original Ponzi scheme, they also had backing with the Mafia, so you had the whole, you don't get a part of this, the bubble there's gonna break your kneecaps! It's like, I know we've kind of gone around in this before, but it's like, if they actually came up with, like, a good reason to use NFTs, like, I'm sure people would be willing to go for it, but it's like, no one has been able to come up with a compelling reason to use them that it can't be used with any other kind of technology. Exactly. Literally, the only thing they ever say is it makes it so that you have a unique thing. Bitch, you don't need to have an NFT to do something like that. Yeah, if I slip, I'm a goner. Mmm. Yeah. Looks like I can only get in from there. What should I do? Yeah, let's go down. What's the worst that could happen? You made it. Oh, man, I... God, falling from that height and getting onto a ledge that slight, I'll... Oh, that makes my knees tense up. Oh god, I know, right? Also, nice this framing here right. with the mouth of the T-Rex around where I, uh, jumped down. Yeah, that does look pretty cool. That's a good shot. And I'm sure it's not hinting at a future event. I really need 
to see if, if you could find, like, a phone or something. I guess that's the only other, that's the one I could do, like, a rematch or something. Yeah. Because, like, I understand the whole survival aspect of, like, oh, you limit safe ones to make people want to be more careful. But, like, if you need, like, a quick, like, just a quick save that's, like, okay, you know, you need to stop now, but you'll resume later, and I think that would be good. Yeah. Celebrity could be nice, but you, we, 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 we don't need celebrity voice actors. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I almost wanted to say Laura Bailey for the meme, if nothing else, just because she is such a, yeah. such a character. She, she has a very distinct voice that I feel definitely fits. So if you want to get somebody else, you might have to feel like She, she's the sort of person who seems like she would really, you know, be able to pull off, you know, hands in the air and YPD. Like, like, uh, right. team, team four star, like, legit voice actors now, right? Exactly. Oh, uh, God bless him. Although he has actually done a lot of legit work. He's actually done stuff on the Paw Patrol, he's been part of Total Spy, the Hat in Time. Barrett, your 
Giuseppe, Mr. Satan. <laughs> But yeah, I am glad that a lot of these like internet celebrities are becoming the legit voice acted. Especially since I feel they make for much better voice acting. They went on a landscape that was much bigger, and they had to get better quicker. Mm -hmm. That's worth crediting with regards to this game versus uh, you know some of the other explorer RPGs of this time is it's interesting to see how they did this in terms of how because they do this thing of okay the area you fight in is the same area that you walk in they they obviously had to be kind of be careful about how like okay not only do we have to make things look nice but it also has to be readable enough that you can see how combat works in these uh, predefined areas. That is true, and I feel like they did a good job with that. Yeah. There's a few points where it feels like the camera is like, pulled in a bit too close or something, but otherwise, like, it feels like they at least did a decent job. Unfortunately, Liefeld is the kind that, from what I've seen, it's like... And then you've seen the stuff that's like how like he'll contort spines just to fit a, a weirdly... 
Not very sexy, but a very sexual angle. Now, I'm more concerned about the over muscle people. Like, have you ever seen that it's Captain America? Where. Yeah. He has over sexual muscle, he has boobs. Like. Security office. I not just fan service or sexy. I read One Piece. Oda is like the master of that, but even he knows how to do portraits. Unless it's. except the tits. He so it makes him a little too big. Where's the alarm? Okay, you know, first. Well. It's also really nice how they trust the player to be like, yeah, that beeping like that is a phone. I mean, they, they've done a very good job by this point of being like, okay, blinking red light is phone. Yeah. I do appreciate it. Though, I guess that is the problem. They had to remake this. They don't have to make it into a cell phone or something. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well, that is that... Eve. Uh, you ever see Alien Resurrection? <laughs> yes. Where is yeah, she? I'm getting Alien Resurrection. <laughs> so the fourth floor. We have to kill her before she summons the God Baby. Cutscenes are really good. Oh, yes. Hey, why not something that's like. Like I said about Resident Evil meeting uh, Chrono Trigger. I didn't say which Resident Evil. Damn, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, okay, a, a skeleton cannot move like that on its own. And like, okay, when the goop gets on, that makes sense. But it's like, okay, I get it. It It, it is a neat visual. Oh, definitely. Also, oh my fucking God, it's a dinosaur. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> and of all things, she's crazy. Yes. I, this is another reason why I like Aya. She, she knows when to throw up her hand and be like, Okay, I am getting way too old for this shit. Oh yeah, goddamn. Let's be honest, it's a pretty kick-ass boss fight. Definitely beats those worms.
Dinosaurs in general were kick ass. Yeah. Although I am kind of glad they aren't in our world. Although, I just trying to rage dinosaurs. Probably not as exotic as you might. of parasite power. <laughs> Okay, where did Mr. Dinosaur go? I think you need to 
find Dr. Clamp's office. Okay. There's one other boss that you need to face before you take on the Guess in the fourth floor. That's a big old goopy goop. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see him. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. M Maida? Uh, hi, Maya. Uh, yes, th uh, there was something I really needed to test. Uh, may I put my arms down now? Did you come back here alone? No. Uh, Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Uh, yes, he went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I... Uh... Uh, anyway, I asked Wayne to make this to make this back at the station. Uh, please, use it. What is it? Yes, uh, I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creatures she controls. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. Maya does gun. Does fucking nothing, apparently. Hmm. I came across some findings. Yes. Uh, first of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labeled on it in the freezer. My sister's name. And... Well, the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? And Eve really is. It appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was 
culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Uh, recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. For Eve, of course. For Eve? Uh, yes, uh, he wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Just one mitochondria. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without the mitochondria? Yes, he took the sperm that he created here and moved it to the hospital. There he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then... Oh, what was that HLA list for? Professor Clan? You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research. Can we please shoot him? Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did? This isn't something you can get away with, do you understand? <laughs> You are pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? Oh, uh, here we go. They're meaningless, do you understand? Uh. <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. <laughs> your mitochondria has, has special powers. Doesn't it? I am. Uh... <laughs> but sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? You can say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. A clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve, you hear? Do you understand? Hey, look out! All right, yeah! Thank you! Daniel. Thanks, I... I didn't see the scalpel. Neither did I, to be fair, but hey! Games from the late 90s. Just in time. best character. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed! Daniel's got a point. It is true. I know. And I mean, motherfucker did say that, like, laws don't matter. At that point, I'd be like, okay, and then I just shoot him in the leg. Because, like, I, I, I appreciate Aya being an officer with some sense of restraint, but we got batshit McGee here, so... Uh, that was... Obviously, there's the whole, you shouldn't escalate a fight, but quite literally, he is stark raving mad... So, shooting him in the leg, probably... I don't think any jury in the in any court would be like, she was in the wrong. Yeah, like, holy shit, they had to evacuate all of Manhattan. Like, this has got to be like a thing of like, okay, we give you... You get all the leeway. Exactly. Uh, it... I mean, but, yeah. Also, when it comes to his gun, you're gonna need it. I'm not going to say what, but it's more important than it, you think. Okay. It just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Ugh. He's conscious again. And to be fair with, like, Aya saying it doesn't feel real, I mean... God damn, would you, if you had lived the week she's been going to, you'd think you were having some kind of episode if you didn't, like, keep yourself together real good. Yeah. She's 
definitely gonna have like she's gonna have PTSD she, no she already has PTSD Dollars to the rescue eh officer Dallas why didn't you shoot me oh fuck you what I know you hate me what uh, do you want to say huh Of course I hate you! Because of you, Lorraine's... Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. Oh. Oh, don't, don't. You. I should have oh. killed you way back! Someday you're gonna pay for this! <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? <laughs> oh, you'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. Sephiroth? The mitochondria is passed on from the mother. But you see... Traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant? Well, when a mommy sperm and a daddy sperm really love each other in a mitochondria. I think you got some things mixed up in there, but okay. How can yeah. that be possible? Damn. I, we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. So... I'm sorry, I, I, I know this probably is a little tasteless, but, uh, if you kill Eva, does that mean you're about to be committing an abortion? Technically. I mean... <laughs> you humans are so weak. So stupid. Ah, uh, blow it out your ass. You may have been able to barge in here and do things your way until now. But, things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Bitch, we have guns! Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait... any more. Oh, I'm shit, I'm ready. Alright, let's see mutant zombie clamp. What? What the hell are you talking about? Daniel Man, oh run! He's got- oh holy shit, he's burning. Oh my... I was... Okay, not what I was expecting, but okay. So, I see. Your mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop and it's my job. After all... I am human. <laughs> like I said, humans are pathetic. Clamp key. You, you know what? That's one other thing I would change about this game. Like, I get it. It's they, They're going for the survival horror and all that. There needs to be a key item thing that is separate from the inventory. You need, like, a key Yeah. Like, I understand the junk items take up space because 
You're supposed to collect like 300 of them, and it's one of those, do you go out of your way to get them, do you carry them and drop them off, like, that makes some sense. Like, junk. Yeah. But, key items, it is frustrating. Yeah, because, like, with the junk, you can at least go by the idea, idea that, oh, this is something that is, like, you know, a bulky piece of metal. I do have a question. Yeah? What level are you at? Uh, I will tell you once I get it. What level until you get in the middle? Uh, level 30. Level 32. I do appreciate that, cause like... I'm not trying to make you better, I'm trying to prevent you from being Yeah, cause like, th this reminds me of how like, there's the thing with the um... The, the top of the hospital where the frickin' thing crashes down on you. Yeah, that's one of those you don't want to Actually, uh, I I'm thinking if I do Pokemon, it'll probably be just like a, a one-off stream because I feel like I might play that off stream. I might only play it to show the introduction. Um, my next thought is I'll probably do Kirby and the Forgotten. Pokemon Stadium. I, I, I'm maybe that would be a far off thing. That because that's the thing. Like it's mostly just battles with little like exploration. Yeah, maybe a little thing doing mini games could be neat. Yeah. Let's be honest. That was like one of the best parts. Of I could roll with that, but yeah, it's... What the fuck was that T-Rex? Yeah. Is that the door? 
the stairs, okay. Also, hi Argo, whenever your your headphones are working. This was it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this. God damn it. You're told those, obviously. Stairs from Clamps Office. Wrap around the staircase. Two sets of doors. I thought it meant like double doors. So, no, okay. no, I get, no, I see where that was the issue. Well, this is an old guy. Yeah. I'm literally reading the official Prima guy. So. And it is kind of a thing of like, unfortunately, when it comes to some of these games with a pre rendered view, it, it can be kind of unfortunately easy to get kind of disoriented about what these.
Like, they're E, e guys, I think. Like, little things. I remember they, they were at least making stuff for the Wii U as part of, like, um... Like, little, like, rewards for my Nintendo. days of strategy guides it used to be you couldn't just look things up on the internet with a nice convenient video and everything you had to go to the store and you had to buy this book Like, I remember hearing, like, part of the thing that made, um, Nintendo Power so good for some of its things is that, uh, you know, for 2D games, obviously, there would be pictures, but, like, when it came to, like, Nintendo 64 and stuff, that, they would actually get, like, materials from, like, you know, like, oh, we actually got the level graphics from the people who were working on this game, so it's, like, a full-on actual recreation. Yeah. Twenty-five million years ago, oxygen increased in the air. Why? Photosynthesis by bacteria, Halley's Comet dropped a meteor, or reaction between gas and H2O? Well, that answer might be crazy. I believe it's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis by bacteria, Halley's Comet dropped a meteor, or reaction between gas and H2O? Well, oh, wait, here it is. Photosynthesis by bacteria. Yeah! Another scorp dude. Okay. You know, it looks like what would happen if a scorpion and a camel spider had a ton of holy baby. Okay, what if you do that and you drop the snow on 
that also work? Like, I, 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 I would guess, though, that whatever material makes up a Pokeball is probably sterner stuff than a duct tape. Right. Okay, you wanted to go up the stairs. Oh, the, the stairs and that? Okay. Yeah, you just unlock a shortcut. Oh, hey, you're back. I don't think baseball itself is as common as, say, like, football, because baseball requires a bit more setup, but... Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the big uh, bonuses of cricket, since you don't need a big diamond, it's just a straight, you know, quick joint. And of course, we have it, like, guys have a... To me, that just seems like it would make things harder. Then <laughs> again, I've never really wielded a cricket bat. Yeah. Well, the main point, like, uh, yeah, oh my God. What? I'm getting an old memory. I was a little kid. I was like a little ball. Yeah.
Well, they do, but for some reason they just have not this. Like, I would say it works in so far as it's like a, the okay, this is a cool, casual, random encounter kind of music. Like, maybe it would fit better in another RPG, but it doesn't exactly scream horror. Like, because I am more fond of, like, the actual, like, battle theme that they do use from time to time. The, uh, I believe it's called Plosive Attack on the track. Tell me a question. What is the name of Pro Jared's... Pro Jared's name. Goodbye, Summer. Hello. Thought I had some. thing they would use for like the the initial objection thing. Yeah, kinda. Like it feels a bit too calm for pursuit. Liberate liberates mitochondrial control. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds You're very go important. Go. That is your super attack. If you flip all your power, you are gonna be doing a ton of damage. I think I might Is there another save point between here and Eve? Yeah, that, I, I, that, that just got taken out of my hands. Okay. Then... Okay. Then you go to that gore battle, that gore area. So if you want to quickly save, now you can. Yeah, I'm just gonna mosey. Just make sense to me. Hi, Mr. T Rex. Oh, shit. Well, no saving from me. You can breathe fire, why would you not? Huh. Hey Oracle. Capcom ripped them off. Remember, there's like a fire breathing T-Rex. I mean it kind of fits the whole thing of uh oh dinosaurs equal dragon. What? Oh, okay. 
Okay, uh... Liberate. I have wings? Oh god, okay. That was less scary than I thought, but... Okay. An M8000. Okay. Here's what you're gonna need to do. Go to the station. And put its ability on there. On your best gun. Because that gives you double command. What is double command? Get two actions, sir. That sounds very good indeed. I think you can do it. I think you can beat the game tonight. Okay. You're at the right level. Like, you're actually above what the guide recommends. So. And, you've got a pretty good arsenal. Level, you got your friends here to support you. Mm -hmm. You're going to defeat uh, Eve with the power of friendship and these guns you found. I don't believe in you. You're not going to do this. Well, believe in the me that believes in you. <laughs> what was that line again? Yeah, believe in the me that believes in you. Yeah. Or, or as it ultimately ended up being, you know... 
you know, don't don't believe in the me that believes in you. Believe in the you that believes in yourself. I want to keep my it as gun. Well, you can't even get rid of it. It's oh. a key item. Okay. Most pe I mean, let's be honest. With one bullet, one damage, you think people wouldn't try and ditch it? At this point, you're just going to want to attach all those specs to your best gun. I recommend your shotgun. Alright. I have got most of my stuff on there anyway, so... Yeah, plus, once you go into New Game Plus mode, you get to keep one gun, one weapon. Nice. One, one weapon, one armor to bring with you, so. And you're at the point of no return, so. What does a what? A salak berry do again? I can't remember which one. I can never remember which berries are which. Salak. Yeah. It's uh, its speed increases when it's in a pinch. Right. When it speed is below a quarter, yeah. Yeah, all those crazy berries and all that, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like I'm I'm in a real Pokemon mood, so I figured I would jump online and do some battles and I haven't done it well, so I'm just going with my team just to remember how I built them. Yeah. Mm. You know, well how in the Pokemon game, you've got the orange berries, which are basically oranges that are of a blue color. Yeah. Do you think they have blue berries that are of an orange color? <laughs> that would be weird. Wouldn't surprise me. I might as well take the ice off of that grenade launcher. And the double action off of this. I actually 
don't recommend putting frost on there. Really? Because if you face an enemy who's resistant to it, then you're not going to do any damage. Oh. Acid and tranquilizer is fine because if they're resistant to it, it just it doesn't lower the damage for the bullets. Okay. Yeah. I will keep that on standby then. Yeah, in the end, you're just gonna make a super weapon. But that can do everything and you don't even need to work. But yeah. Uh, for a moment, I was surprised he was in his 60s until I realized, oh, yeah, he was a professional voice actor in the 90s. Yeah. I know for me, he, like, because of, like, you know, that animated series, he'll always be the guy I think of as the voice of Batman. Was. Mark Hamill was the definitive voice of the Joker. Which is another I, one of those things I think it was weird. That's like, huh, that's Mark Hamill? Dude, I dude, know. dude's got range. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it, again, it's always that case of Mark Hamill, his two biggest roles. One is one of the greatest villains and one is one of the best heroes. <laughs> exactly. And let's face it, he's better as Joker than he is as Luke Skywalker. What's funny is that the Joker originally was going to go to Tim Curry. <laughs> as much as I would love to have seen that, I don't think it would have. Well, you, there's actual so where he actually was found of the line breaking of Tim Curry as the Joker. He's got just the right amount of crazy. Exactly. Where that's what they basically said. The malice, but also the fun. After all, you've got to have some whimsy, Batman. supposed to get to Eve? Remember that weird goo door? Yes. I tried going up and interacting with it, but nothing happened. Unless I just well, missed the... Dead. What? God, I hope I just didn't, like, forget a key item or something. Hold on, let me check. Okay, okay. Alright. Grab the 
I think that's another thing that, like, if this game were to get remade, that's another thing I would hope would get a little bit more fixed, is trying to convey what you're supposed to do next a bit more clearly. Looks like loop. It is liberating to have the freaking double action. I know, right? Now imagine that, but with attack all. That sounds crazy. where I came from. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, like... Really? <laughs> okay, if you guys insist.
he did it good. Joker himself, he wrapped around from being so insane that he became sane again and he could no longer be Joker. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Uh, God, I feel bad for the cleanup crew. I've seen enough alien movies to know where this is going. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's peek in here. Eve's on the other side. Eve. kind of creepy. It's a wonder you made it this far. <laughs> so are you going to congratulate me on this birth? What are you planning to do, Eve? Hmm. And perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? My, Are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel, Maeda, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it though. Did you see that ugly mama? That... That was everyone from Central Park. But then you're saying that Lorraine's a part of that thing too? I'm sorry, Daniel. It... Yes, it has become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. 
Transplant? What kind of transplant? Yes, it seems she got one of your sister's kidneys. After Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant. So Melissa got... Maya's kidney? Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So, Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm sorry, the young Melissa. She had a kidney failure. Then, Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the operation was... You guessed it. Hans Clamp. Our main man. Uh. Clamp wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised, and... They all screamed that the kidney was hot. for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drugs served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve was targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant, to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was also that Eve would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it was necessary for the HLA type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs. And after taking so much... She was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that's how she transformed into... Mitochondria Eve. So then, Maya is. Maya's the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. Roger. Commencing operation, sir. Finally, the Roger, time has... Roger, what's your... What's your vector, vector? Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. It, y yes, sir. F forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. Oh, I 
don't use belly drop. So I use um, Encore. But then Gigantamax. And this is my favorite. Gigantamax makes it that way. Encore doesn't work anymore. Oh. What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the Jets. can't be a part of that thing. That huge creature. Oh, no, those cells. That must be where Eve's giving birth. Where she's giving birth? Yes. Uh, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Action. and Officer Brea, VNYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Her. To the what? Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams. I command this ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put Aya in danger here. You, who do you think you are, you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. What, what do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on, I can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry, the chopper's been set to auto. She won't have any problems. So, I don't so, think that's the problem. <laughs> so, so she just needs to fly from a distance where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. And we cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Well... I'll do it. Hiya, no way! You're not going up there! Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Okay, Daniel? That 
thing. That's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine, too, Aya. Wait, Aya, please take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. Yes, of course. Uh, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Creatures within view. Switch to formation two. What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We we're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? is your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. What? No! I'm not doing this without your... We're prepared. We're entering firing range. Prepare to attack. Alright. Please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. Christmas Eve, I've put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I... I don't understand. I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. I, uh, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. didn't work. I did it? We did it! <laughs> well done. That was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No. It's not over yet. Of 
course. And for someone who thinks so highly of mitochondria, you sure like the, hu the human form, Eve. Okay. I agree. You would, you would think her final form would be, you know, a literal mitochondria. Or, or at least something that's kind of like a mishmash of what are considered like the ultimate, like, high life form traits or you know something alien looking or yeah I uh, come back now it's too dangerous to continue return to base at once oh, we will plan but Is it progress yes are you sure yes Definitely want to save. Yes, Aya, please, I need to give you... Forget it. She signed off already. So it was you. Maya. <laughs> that must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you. <laughs> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill oh. other creatures, and they even kill their own kind. Oh my god, I hate when people do that bullshit. We have our reasons, and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies. But until now, humans had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being. And have allowed you to prosper. What? <laughs> we, mitochondria, have made you the creates the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that humans were kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? Hmm. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. <laughs> but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this Earth.
That's, that's cheating, that's cheating, stop that. that rocket launcher that I've been saving up. I recommend saving it for... you got a lot more fights in the front. Oh. I thought this was final boss territory. No. He did kind of make it seem like that. I, I forgot how long... If I'm being honest, I forgot how long I mean, that's kind of what we're going to get. I mean, okay, we are liberating This game is weird with its biology. Chatini, again. Correcting wild animations going on. Okay. Nope. Stay. Jack Nabbit. <sighs> points for trying, but enough of this nonsense. Watch. Learn what evolution really means. A gradual change that occurs in multiple generations over time? <laughs> oh, you mean evolution in the Pokemon sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you, when you level up enough and go through metamorphosis. Yeah. That's how evolution works. Thank you. 
Yes, full recover. I definitely need that. Oh, right, I had a revive. I should have put on more revives. Oh, well. What? I was just saying, I should, uh, I should have put on more revives, but I didn't, so, oh, well. Because I don't remember I had some in storage. don't understand. No, you can't be our 
natural enemy? No. She returned to the goop, I guess? As we all will eventually. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. Aya, come on! Aya? What's wrong? <laughs> you are great, Aya. Just that only my partner can pull it off, eh? Yes. Aya, I'm relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. You know, for somebody who hates humanity, she's very poetic. I'm guessing that's something that came with her host or something. Possibly. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. No need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? Hey, yes. Thank you. Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya! Very good, gone. I, I, that is the only thing I could imagine. Yeah. Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me up rather queasy. I knew it! I knew you could do it! When I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing. Aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, uh, you're probably tired too. I I'll take the things that are in your way. Uh, so you rest up now, you hear? Uh... 
Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. When he says engrave your weapon, that's how it's doing the new game plus. So you need to pick out a w your the weapon and armor that you want to burn. Okay. Do I want my Ada's gun, or is that later? Uh, you can't actually do that. Oh. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Like, the way things are going, it's looking like I might wrap it up at the next phone. Souvenir for blowing Eve away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Alright, that is definitely good old shoddy shot. And you can name it! Oh wow. Name it your boomstick! Oh. Let's see. What? What, you don't like you don't like Evil Dead? I'll name it after a certain trusting weapon. The Tigress. That would be legit, but I'm going for something else. <laughs> Monkey. Mona. Ah, uh, yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, like uh, Mona's probably more like a rifle. Well, perhaps, but still, the, the shotgun yeah. has been a trusty weapon, and Mona is a trusty weapon. Yeah. And armor. I think I named mine the fuck you gun. Because you have the mentality of a child. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. By the way, have you guys seen the Jaden animation Digimon game? I, 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 that is on my to watch list. Yeah, I had a lot of good time. I was saying that was on my to watch list, that, that latest Jaden animations thing. Ah, right, yeah. It's, gotta be, it's great being on this cruise, right? Gotta tell my mom about this. I don't think she would believe half the shit you tell her. So you can say, okay, yeah, you've already got my stuff. So you can do 
Is this... Yes, that is a phone. It's making phone sounds. A phone. It's a phone mimic! of the crane game mimic. Okay, so... We are currently sitting at 77 mitochondria. We've... beat Eve, question mark. Got things set up for our next save. I guess I'll see how things go in the middle of the week. Yeah. yeah it was nice to have you guys here. Definitely. Continue. You need to stay. 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 up at the North Pole. I'll deliver presents to good factions, and I'll deliver nukes to bad ones. Remember, it is RimWorld. <laughs> yeah. You, Maybe you... I'll get the Doom mod. My Krampus can be the Doom guy. You do you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And good night, audience type people. Night. I'm going to bed. I mean, I.